Some people think of Kobe as a spreadsheet when actually it's a database schema presented as a spreadsheet. I'm no technical wizard, but I thought it might be useful to explain how I look at it as a layperson. In contacts, we've got the supplier's details with an email address as the key. Moving on to the building, we've got the floors defined and the spaces on each floor, including their room reference and their uniclass definitions. Zone allows spaces to be grouped together so a school can report on the areas used for teaching and circulation. We now drill into the types of products and materials that are included in this facility, the manufacturer, model number and warranty details, and of course the Uniclass code. The component tab records every instance of each asset type including the reference to the space tab and the unique identifier from the 3D model that automatically connects the data to the model. Here we see where all the FA011 smoke detectors are and all the assets in the boiler room. All of those components can be grouped by system. The manufacturer's recommended maintenance regimes is included in the jobs tab, including the individual tasks that can be compared with the generic maintenance libraries like SFG20 to ensure nothing important to the warranty is missed. PDFs of manufacturer's manuals and test certificates are held under documents. The attribute tab holds additional ISC properties that are specific to that type of asset, like fire rating for doors or the attributes of a boiler. And the XYZ coordinates of each space and each item within each space on each floor in each facility is recorded in the Kobe database. But I think everyone would agree that we need something far more human friendly to access and use this great BIM data. We use Forge or 3D Repo to federate the various geometric models and Active Plan to federate the Kobe files from the architectural and MEP models and then capture the as built information from contractor schedules. The result is a federated set of asset data we can tie back to the federated geometric model, creating a fully populated and validated BIM model. We can then synchronize with any FM application, not just plan maintenance, but also space, IoT, life cycle, and also keep the O&M updated. So this is how Kobe looks as a proper database application in Active Plan. The data from each of the Kobe tabs is here, and the dashboard allows the maintenance manager in the school to drill into asset types and see what's in the digital O&M. The user interface is designed to allow him to scroll through the products and recognize them by their appearance. Now he might need to replace a smoke detector, so he opens up the product information of the specific model that was installed, which contains the detail he needs to order. He can also look up the system it forms part of, which includes where everything's installed. That can be presented as a simple floor plan. And it shows all the devices on the floor, so you can find the model of the device that's in that room and where else they may be installed. You can click on it because it's an active plan to get the product information, and in this case, the contractor hasn't provided the warranty information, but that's easily added through forms or spreadsheets with no Revit skills. We've got the manufacturer's product details. And here we can see that there's some missing information. In this case, installation and warranties. Now the school might have a problem with its heating. So the facilities manager who's looking after several schools may need the model number. Part of the Active Plan solution is a content management system called the Product Library that connects with other web-based library services. 
It's a networked application that allows merchants and manufacturers to populate it with their product's information and keep it up to date. One of the neat things is that it can automatically record which buildings across an estate have that same model installed. So the FMs have a number of ways of finding the product information they need. Schedules with floor plans, data sheets and product libraries. But you might ask, how's that tied back to the 3D model? As I explained earlier, Autodesk Forge is a tool that we use to federate many of the BIM models that are produced for any building. They include objects that might have some data behind them. But as you start to look here, as we query it, there's a lot of information missing. And that's principally because this model has been created by designers and they don't contain as much information about the products that were actually installed. As we get down to the bottom here, you'll see that the Kobe information is pretty well empty. And that's where the Active Plan database comes in. So by bringing the Forge model into the Active Plan database, we're connecting automatically the elements to the data, so the data is then connected back to the model. But you can also create a number of saved views, which makes it easy for people to come along, navigate around the model, and find the information that they need. So we've got plan views, we've got schedules, we've got floor plans. And in this 3D model, we can navigate to the boiler house. And just as we're able to do on the floor plan, we can click on the object in the 3D model. And it goes and queries the database with the data in the cloud that's being managed by the specialists. We can also hold a photograph that's perhaps been picked up during a survey and check out any information that's missing. This interconnectivity uses web services, so the interoperation with the other applications the school might use is very easy to set up. The way we hold the Kobe data allows us to generate floor plans directly from the database and that's how we get the web-based interactive floor plans. In this case we're looking at the database through Microsoft Power BI. A lot of people are using that now as their management information system but I don't think very many of them have got interactive floor plans. This is a really easy way for people to understand how the spaces are being used and the way they interrelate with other spaces. Having looked at the property by drilling into a spatial model, we can now come up from the detailed information about each department and the spaces within them. The Active Plan Kobe database is able to present the relationship between floors, the spaces they contain, the systems that support them, and the assets in each system, and where they are. Thanks for taking the time to check out what we've been doing, and if you find it interesting, then please get in touch. Cheers.